success with you here tonight. And quite simply, I always like to start out letting people know where we want to go. Quite simply, we want to share proven growth strategies for both you and your business. So think about that, right? When you get better, stronger, faster, smarter, that's more for you to share within your business, your network, your world. And really, that's just the best way that we know to get better. I'll go back to an older quote from Jim Rohn. He said, for things to change, you need to change. For your business to grow, you need to grow. And then, of course, we want to attract more and more winners to our organization. And that's part of what we're going to talk about tonight. So we're going to talk about what's new. And there's some phenomenal new developments uh, within the last week, even, even the last handful of days that are, are so wonderful. Uh, we're going to talk about the success mindset. And I'm going to refer you back to last week's phenomenal conversation on success. Diamond Diane Solano, who really uh, has made a phenomenal study of quantum physics and how what we think really is proven now in science to bring things to us, to attract to us, and literally create our reality. We're gonna talk about the skills to be a great networker, and then we're gonna finish with an action plan. So what's new? Well, the OG uh, geniuses, I guess that's the best word for them, have now announced their five getaways for 2020. Since we now have a partnership with Travala, we have a better opportunity than ever before to create these elite experiences. So it's gonna be five days, four nights. And when you look at the Latin America convention, this is the picture for that. That's gonna be in Cuba. Uh, I have heard so many phenomenal things about Cuba. When we start looking at North America, we are going to celebrate that in Hawaii. Uh, when we start looking at Europe, we have Turkey. Again, uh, you, you just look at that picture, absolute beauty. I have not yet been to Turkey. Friends of mine that have been there say it is a beyond beautiful country. Africa, the island of Zanzibar. Again, look at that picture. Uh, this last year was Mauritius. Absolutely delicious is how I like to refer to Mauritius. Beautiful getaway, beautiful people. Uh, and then for Asia, there's actually China. And we're gonna go over the qualifications in just a moment, but guess what? For this next year's getaway, the flight will be included. So what do you need to qualify? Well, if you rank advanced to Sapphire, you will need to requalify for four out of 10 months. Now, this actually goes back a few months already. So if you've already got two months in, your, in the book, if you're a new Sapphire, uh, guess what? You're already halfway there. If you are an existing Sapphire, you need to qualify six out of 10 times, but guess what? You could already have uh, some Sapphire months in the books. If you advance to Ruby, you will need to requalify three times out of the 10 months. If you're an existing Ruby, five out of the 10. If you rank advanced to Emerald, two out of 10 months, uh, you, you will then be on the getaway. If you're an existing Emerald, qualify four out of 10. And then finally, diamond and then you requalify one out of out of 10 times if you are diamond or above three diamond qualifications uh, will get you there so uh, we're going to really encourage the development of leaders and we have plenty of people that are stepping up all over the og world to get those sapphire ruby emerald and diamond positions. And all my friends that are VIP and platinum and platinum elite, you've already proven that you can do it. If you're a VIP, guess what? Help four more people become VIP. If you're a platinum, you, and then you help two more become platinum or three, I guess is real, real safe. Platinum elite, you're most away the there. And then Sapphire, you've already shown that you can do it. What about people that join within the last 60 days of the contest? They can still join us. So if they qualify to Sapphire or above within that 60 days, they are on the getaway with airfare, which is a really epic bonus. And then of course, if you qualify for the global, global growth bonus, you'll be there as well. And they also have plans and, and a, something in order where you can actually bring a guest. And one thing I wanna point out is you wanna be a star achiever for that entire period. Organo is revamping the star achiever program. And if you are a star achiever or if you're not, I'm gonna encourage you 
from this day forward, from now on, to be a star achiever. Organo is now coming out with a CNS 90 line, which, you know, remember, we're going to share the treasures of the earth with the people of the earth. Well, we're going to get synergy of the treasures. So all of these are organic. We've got reishi, which is our, another name for organoderma. We have cordyceps. Some of us are familiar with that because we have uh, you know, our red tea. Then we're going to add lion's mane, another powerful mushroom. Turkey tail, another powerful mushroom. Ginseng, I think I spelled that wrong. Sorry for the typo. Uh, and ashwagandha. And all of these are due to come out the uh, first quarter of 2020. Uh, and they have also um, created, don't know why I went so far back in my slides, they've created a protein shake. Now the protein shake has all the nutrients that I mentioned above, and it does have organic pea protein, organic hemp protein, organic pumpkin protein, organic chia protein, and organic coconut protein. So we've had people all over the world saying, hey, can Organo come out with a vegetarian meal replacement? And the answer is, you ask, Organo listens, and here it comes. Now, we're going to have a newly formulated XT. The XT is not going to have any artificial ingredients. There will be no artificial sweeteners. We're going to have the blend of the organic mushrooms. Uh, some people were at the Unite uh, Asia in Bali, and I had samples. And the final night dinner, I went around and I handed it out to people, and the vast majority of people fell in love with it, right? You're never going to get 100% a, a of people 100% of the time, but people rated the taste excellent. And what we know is that our products are so good that we just want the goodness that's within them. We can do whatever we need to do to make it taste a little better if, it, if we need to. Uh, it's going to taste excellent to most palates right away. And then something else I'm really excited about. This was a picture of our team and some of our team members uh, that went to uh, an event called Beyond Leadership. Uh, it was a, a wonderful weekend with the guy that I call the best skills trainer in the game, and that is Mr. Eric Worre. Uh, I also was invited to a mastermind at Eric's house. And, you know, we all got to, uh, you know, share data about what's really working within our businesses. Uh, but when Eric had learned that Paul Caldwell was the owner uh, of Organo, he said, wow, congratulations to your Organo Nation. He and Paul have a, a wonderful history. They have a great friendship. And that is probably what has led to Paul saying, you know what, Eric, I know your skill sets. Uh, we consider you the best trainer in the industry. And Organo has hired Eric Worre as a consultant for systems development, success systems development. And I've got to tell you, uh, Eric was profoundly successful as a network marketing distributor. Once he started his network marketing pro, he tells all distributors, look, go pro. One of the differences between pros and amateurs, quite simply, is pros get paid. Uh, and he's wonderful at teaching people how to get paid, uh, has coached many, many, many million plus dollar a year earners. I've, I've met many of these people. Uh, and here, by the way, is Eric's criteria for a system. He says, if it's a really good system, everybody knows it, everybody does it, and it works. Uh, and that's what he's going to help us create. And then, by the way, ultimately, when you share with people how you're going to build their business, he says, you want them to say three things. Number one, this looks simple. Number two, I think it'll work. And number three, I think I could do that. So Organo has had some wonderful systems. Uh, we've made things work. The, the company has, has uh, had wonderful success in many, many countries with every demographic known, but now we're gonna take those systems up even a little further. Uh, and one of the things I, I really love about Organo is, here's their criteria. If, it's, if you believe it's good for your business and it's legal, moral, and ethical, well then bring it into your business. So we, our team, that, that's uh, our, our team, Jacob Rakowski, really our, our leader who has 
done so much in terms of system development and helping and, and front and center there with his beautiful wife, Megan, for, for Eric Worry. But we're going to have 160 people uh, from our team at the Network Marketing Pro. Uh, they always have phenomenal speakers. I'm going to tell you, I, I think if you can allocate the time, our team has used it year after year after year after year to build. Uh, I, I think it's not going out on a limb at all to say the investment would be well worth your time uh, and efforts. One thing I also like that Eric Worre created was a uh, movie called Rise of the Entrepreneur. And they have guys like Robert Kiyosaki and nearly everybody in this picture, not uh, Bill Clinton, but he's a, a friend of network marketing, really likes network marketing. And not Jim Rohn because he passed, but I think every other one of these leaders is part uh, of that documentary where they talk about how network marketing uh, is so profoundly powerful. This gentleman's name is Paul Zane Pilsner, world leading economist, uh, as is this gentleman here, Mr. Dent. Uh, and they talk about how network marketing really makes the most sense of any business model out there in terms of risk reward. Richard Branson was a keynote speaker. Tony Robbins is a big advocate. Robert Kiyosaki calls network marketing the best business training school that there is. Uh, you get to learn from multimillionaires who have a vested interest in your success. You have a company that literally does all the work that the small business would have to, have to do. And your job really is just sales and marketing, sharing the product and then also sharing the opportunity. So in Montreal next Saturday, uh, Miss Deanna Nielsen, who I, I think is the most passionate person in network marketing, uh, Diane Solano, who I think is the most uh, tuned in, tapped in, turned on person in network marketing. That's a, a term we use when your brain is just right to att attract all the success you want. And myself will be there. And Lloyd Chambers really had a lot to do with making the event a, a sapphire out of, a, out of a, uh, Ireland. Uh, he's an author. He's a phenomenal human. He's a great business leader. Uh, and he's going to share some of the things that he has learned. The four of us will be in Toronto on Sunday, Super Sunday. Uh, and then Dr. Sachin Patel, who currently Emerald, uh, the world is his. He's a powerful influencer with a great story. And he tells it so well. And he's just a master of language. And he gets people to understand and resonate with the vision of Organo and the power of medicinal mushrooms. So there's our what's new. And what's new is really new and really, really good. Now let's talk about unlocking the success mindset. And we just go back one success conversation ago. And Diane Solano you know, uh, often referred to as the energy entrepreneur because she has phenomenal energy. But more than that, she knows how to direct her mental energies to create uh, a phenomenal life for her and her son. Uh, and I absolutely enjoy interacting with them because I see her son, Dylan, learning from such a great teacher and applying it. Uh, and the world is going to see a lot with him. But go and watch it again and again and again. She's going to talk about the science, the quantum physics, the brainwaves, and how these things that have been talked about, like think and grow rich, and as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. These are things that have absolutely been proven out in the modern science. We all create our reality. In fact, uh, I think it's Dr. Joe Dispenza that says, your reality or, or your personality is your personal reality. You create that. Uh, I like Wayne Dyer. He says, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So use your thoughts to expand your consciousness, expand your network, expand your ability to serve, uh, and expand the ways that we make everything better around us. So one of the things about mindset is, is people sometimes think, well, you know, people don't change. And so I asked the question, do people really change? And what are some of the agents of change? One of my favorite authors is Andy Andrews. Uh, and this is from one of his books, which is called Little Things. But he says, we think in our society today that the way that people change is to 
have a deep desire to change. They have to have a deep desire or they basically have to hit rock bottom. But Andy Andrews says that neither of these things are true. He says he's studied change extensively. He's reached out to leaders all over the world and he said, look, I challenge any of you to come up with any other criteria other than these two. Uh, and last I heard Andy Andrews, which is quite often, he says, no one has been able to refute what he says is required for change. Quite simply, category number one, people want to know what's in it for me. So, you know, it's been said that everybody's radio station is WIFM, what's in it for me. Now, I want you to think about that. You know, I have mentors that say, you know what? We human beings really need to be selfish. If we don't put our oxygen mask on first, which is not only selfish, but common sense, how can we help others? If we don't take care of ourselves first, how can we take care of others? So if people are constantly depleting themselves at the service of others, they're gonna be burned out in no time at all. So what's in it for you is something that we need to be able to find out for every single person. And by the way, my favorite way to find out what's in it for them is what do they want it to be in for them, right? What is going on in their life? Where do they need a little help? Where do they want a little more freedom? Now in, now in our presentations, we talk about multiple freedoms. You can have health freedom, right? With a simple daily habit that literally every dose moves your health up the scale. In, in a very positive direction. People can have the, the beautiful freedom of, of uh, confidence. So, uh, you know, when you start looking at how good the BU is for the planet and for the people that use it, all natural, all organic, no animal cruelty, and the products work, they go on well, uh, they can have the beautiful freedom of confidence. How about location freedom? Now this business model can be done from a smartphone, can be done from a computer, can be done from about anywhere. If you live in a town of any size and you start connecting with the people around you, you may never need to go any further than that to find the leaders who take your business around the world. So we have location freedom that way. And then with our partnership well, with Travala, we have better access to freedom of travel and freedom of, of location with fully curated trips, which are so beautiful to take advantage of. And then number two, where is the evidence? What's in it for me and where is the evidence? So remember facts tell, stories sell. So I'm gonna give you some facts because I happen to like those. And I'm gonna give you some stories because those are really the things that make the biggest difference for most people. But this is one peer-reviewed medical study, just one. And by the way, I just looked at this uh, today and uh, PubMed search typed in the word Ganoderma, 2,375 studies under the name Ganoderma. Now understand some are gonna be under the name Reishi, some are gonna be under the name Lingchi. But here's one of the studies and here's what it says, Ganoderma has a lot of health benefits, including immunomodulation. So if the immune system's too strong, uh, you know, like an allergy or autoimmunity, as a modulator, it can calm it down. If it's too weak against foreign cells or against your own cells, right, that could be any type of infection or cancer, Ganoderma picks up the immune response. Uh, it also says it's anti-cancer. Now we can't make that claim on our product, but the medical literature can say that Ganoderma is proven against, and so far I've found 13 different cancers that have direct studies where Ganoderma benefits. So I always like to give the disclaimer here. Uh, I have taught on the professional health circuit for years. I know not to give any claims to any particular product, but I also know that the medical literature is considered a published medical fact. These are articles that were written by doctors, for doctors, and reviewed before they were published. Uh, it can help regulate blood sugar and diabetes. It's an antioxidant. In fact, there's over 430 unique molecules, uh, many of which have antioxidant activity. It can actually prevent the hardening of the arteries, fibrosis of tissues like lungs. It prevents uh, the toxicity of certain toxic compounds 
including even cancer drugs. It's anti-tumor by multiple me uh, mechanisms. It helps with pain and by the way, directly on nociceptors. So that's another mechanism of pain. Anti-inflammatory by at least a dozen different mechanisms. Antimicrobial, yeah, Ganoderma has proven against a lot of bad bugs. It can lower cholesterol and triglycerides. It's good for the liver. Uh, it prevents female hormones from becoming uh, too androgenic. By the way, if females make too many male hormones, they can get male pattern baldness, they can get acne, they can get hair in places they don't want it. Uh, so that's a very good benefit for them. Uh, it's anti-herpetic. It, it actually uh, can uh, be very effective against the over 200 different strains of herpes virus. So now there's just not one, two, or three, over 200 strains of the herpes virus. Anti-arthritic, good for arthritis. Anti-osteoporotic, it's good for your bones. Anti-aging, guess what? Animal studies and no human studies show that it has anti-aging benefits. Anti-ulcer, and that's just one medical study. That's one medical study of 2,375. So often when I'll share this, I go, you know, did you see anything on that list that uh, you want to add? You know, is, is there something in there that they didn't cover? And often if people will mention it, guess what? They probably have a study on that too. So this is a proven, proven herb. Here's another fact. The mushroom market is booming over $50 billion a year. And according to PubMed, the Ganoderma market alone 2.5 billion dollars a year. And I think many of you know, uh, here's a picture of our Ganoderma as it should be grown, USDA certified organic. And a lot of the competition is growing it in plastic bags. So as I tell people, you know, in medicine, we teach about the physical exam. You look at the outside of the individual to gain insight, what's happening inside. Uh, I have yet to find one person. I said, look, if a loved one's life were on the line, uh, how many of you would pick this plant over this one. Zero so far. 1,000 of 1,000 say, I'm going to take the Ganoderma. So now let's get to stories. Remember we said that uh, Ganoderma is an immune modulator. So this woman was actually stung. Multiple bee stings. Uh, and she walked into Justin Woven's office. He's uh, one of our team members. And he looked at her and went, holy cow, what happened? She said, you know, I got stung by bees. I, I've got an extreme immune response to it. He goes, well, here, let's get you a hot chocolate. Why hot chocolate? I, I don't think she drank coffee or tea, so hot chocolate was there. Thank God it was there, because guess what? Everything started calming down pretty quick. Um, this is a little girl in South Africa, and when I was at Unite South Africa, her mother came up to me and gave me a big hug, thanking me. Well, it's true that the team in South Africa happens to be in my leg of business, but really those hugs go all the way up the chain, all the way up really to Mr. Bernie Chua, who said, you know what? We have treasures that everybody can benefit from, but not everybody's gonna eat an organic mushroom. Not everybody drinks coffee or tea, but hot chocolate that's kid friendly and delicious, why not? So this little girl, that was six days of hot chocolates for her. Uh, Frank Francisco well, was at the Organo Convention last year. Now there are PubMed studies that show that Ganoderma actually promotes fat loss by at least six different mechanisms. Believe it or not, that's the same guy. There's Frank right there and then look at him a hundred pounds lighter, which he did in 10 months. So what's in my cup? This is actually a DX. Love the detox drink, not beautiful to wind down with during the evening. So as we move forward, how about this beautiful testimonial? So we have a wonderful Facebook group where we show, share. So this is Francesca. And she looks great in both pictures, but she highlighted a couple of things that she was really excited about that changed with the BU. You look at the quality of the products, you look at the branding, you look at the packaging. People have said, wow, that looks like Apple packaging. Well, guess what? Apple is the most admired corporation in the world. Organa wants to be the most admired corporation in the world. Notice we take hints from people that are doing things right. And then there's Travala. So Kelly and I, a, a little over a month ago, we were just sitting in our home and said, you know, we should do something this weekend. So we logged on to Travala uh, and we took a cruise on this boat, a five day cruise. We got a great price uh, and we, we bought it last minute. So we got a, a 
uh, you know, it's still a really good price, but if we had bought it a couple weeks in advance, uh, I checked it on the, on the website further out, about 70 to 80% savings on a, on a luxury cruise. So um, start using that Travala, start using your forever weeks, have them curate an amazing trip for you. And by the way, we got on the phone with them. It turns out that Kelly's passport had expired. It was good that we found that out. So they got on the phone with the cruise company. And since it was just going to Mexico, they said, look, if you can get a driver's license, a birth certificate, um, and, a, and a marriage license that says your name is different, well, then we'll be able to get you on that cruise. So they did all the legwork to help us figure out what we needed to do to take that wonderful vacation. This was the OJ getaway, OG getaway that was just in Tenerife. Uh, look at how many beautiful people were there and understand that Organo had five of those and next year we're gonna have five more. So one thing when we start talking about uh, skills we'll get to later, but we know that the best promoters get promoted. So this is Don King. Uh, I looked up his net worth today, about $150 million. I also looked up the richest boxers in the world. I think there's only four boxers that are worth more than Don King. And understand, Don King never took a single punch in the ring. We've got uh, Floyd Mayweather, we've got Manny Pacquiao, we've got George Foreman, and we've got uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. So the best promoters get promoted. Remember that because when we start talking about skills, you are going to want to become a master promoter and the live events. So Organo is going to have live events next year. Uh, we, we've been talking about those and where they're going to go. We mentioned that there's a, a few coming up in Canada, but there's also the uh, Network Marketing Pro Recruiting Mastery, which by the way, that's where this picture was taken. I was at that event. Uh, and Tony Robbins did what really he's the best in the world at. Phenomenal life strategy coach and, and really gets the energy flowing. But these are people, every single person in this picture literally says events are where my business took off. Uh, Jacob used a lot of good influence to get myself and Kelly to our first Organo event. Uh, at that point, I had zero interest in growing the business. I saw the event and I said, wow, this is, you know, so much more than I thought I'm in. And I, I tell people from that event, I started calling people. I haven't stopped since. Diane Solano, master promoter, uh, our newest diamond on our team, Sachin Patel, born at uh, a major event, the Brennan family, born at a major event. And by the way, I happen to love this picture because after uh, OG, OG uh, I'm trying to think which OG event it was, they went to Disney uh, with their kids. Uh, two weeks in Disney uh, and they went Ruby. Paul and Nancy Charlton, events, born at event, Ruby. And I, I particularly love this, Emily Morrow uh, and, and Natalie Morse. So these two were at an event together and they said, you know what? We're going Sapphire and we're going Sapphire this month. And they did it. Uh, and by the way, Natalie Point uh, just posted a beautiful picture. She was in a different place before she joined Organo. Now she's got a beautiful new home and taking care of her kids. But all of these winners literally launched their career at an event. So we want to become a master promoter and we want to have the promotion of events mindset knowing that this is where minds expand. You see success after success after success, and then you come to realize, wow, uh, Organo's got you know, a phenomenal, phenomenal system going on here. I'll, I'll say that we've used the Network Marketing Pro event uh, for the last five years, and the people that are on the stage at that event that are distributors are all earning over a million dollars a year. And what I would do, you know, we're not supposed to compare, right, to people, but you want to know who is your competition. I'd pull out my phone, I'd, you know, Google them, and I found out, wow, you know, this person made their million in, you know, who knows, uh, you know, uh, some kind of obscure product. Or even if it's a well-known product, right, maybe someone made a, a million dollars a year in makeup. And I would look at the gentleman on our team and I'd say, well, how much makeup do you wear? Uh, and guess what? I, I don't think that any of them said they wore any on a regular. 
uh, basis. So you start looking at coffee and tea and hot chocolate, we really got something for everybody. Make up mostly a female market. And none of the million dollar earners on stage had our market, had our competitive advantage, uh, and therefore we should be uh, the, 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 the company that produces more million dollar earners than anything else. And that's part of our plan. We certainly plan to do it and have plenty of team members that do it as well. So let's just talk about skills for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna talk about two things. I'm gonna talk about philosophy and I'm gonna talk about skill. So my favorite philosophical teacher uh, is Richard Bliss Brook. And he has uh, something that he calls being an authentic networker. And here's what he says, just be yourself. Be yourself and be your best self and get better every day because who you are uh, is, is more than enough, right? Just connect with people, have a good conversation, find out about them. Uh, and you know, when you're having a conversation with a person, here's one thing that, that we know, and I'm trying to think if it was how to win friends or influence people, you know, but they said, look, we're all our most favorite person in the world and our most important person in the world. So why not just ask them about them? Uh, engage in a really good conversation and no script, just take it wherever the conversation goes. Have a curiosity conversation. So um, I'll show a picture in a few slides. I went to uh, Austin, Texas to uh, listen from Richard Bliss Brook. Um, maybe I had it in the wrong spot. I'll find it in a moment. Um, oh, there we are. And I won't drive three hours one way uh, to see too many people. But as I told him, I always appreciate his wisdom uh, and the way that he shares networking. It absolutely resonates with my soul. Uh, but he had a conversation with a woman right there in the hotel room. He says, look, let's just have a conversation. So he started talking to her about her, you know, talking to her, where are you from? Tell me about your life. Tell me about your family. Well, it turns out she has two children and some grandchildren, but one of her children is an, is an adult that deals with mental illness. Uh, and at 40 years old, he's still living at home. And the options are living at home or, or being uh, in a state care facility. Uh, and she really enjoyed taking care of her son. Uh, and then it turns out that her husband was battling prostate cancer. And so Richard asked a question. He says, you know, um, do you work outside the home? And she said, no. She's, he asked then, if your husband's ability to earn a living was compromised, would that impact your life? And she, she almost started crying. She says, yeah, yeah, it would. I mean, his prognosis is good, but He's always been the sole breadwinner. So if, if his ability to make a living was compromised, we'd be in trouble. And here's what he said. You know what? That's one of the things I really enjoy doing. I've helped a lot of people start a business from home. And just depending on how fast they want to do it, three, four, five, six years, they can become financially free. It would take 20 minutes to explain that. Would that be worth 20 minutes of your time? Well, guess what she said? <laughs> yeah, of course it would be. And you know, under those circumstances, who wouldn't say, of course, but understand whether a guy wants to buy a new bass boat or whether uh, a woman wants to take a, a nice trip with her friends or maybe upgrade her wardrobe or maybe people have a favorite charity. Well, you know, that's one of the things I help people do. I, I help them to earn money by starting a business from home to create their dream life it would take about 20 minutes to explain that. Would that be worth 20 minutes of your time? Uh, and you know, you can either become really good at that 20 minute presentation or guess what? Rapid funnels is coming up. I should have put that in what's new, but we have new presentations on there uh, and there should be plenty of recordings, right? In this Casey Nielsen Martin uh, does the opportunity presentation and it's so well done. Uh, and our team has plenty of recordings too. Um, but 20 minutes, I think is a good amount of time to explain the presentation, especially for a video. So this was Richard Bliss Brooks on the Network Marketing Pro stage. And so picture 40 years ago, uh, his job was actually at Foster Farms chicken plant. And his job was to actually cut the heads off of chickens. So he had a knife probably in his, his sheath there, but you can see that those are chickens without heads. And that was his job. And you know, he, he said, look, I, I really thought I was gonna retire there until Foster uh, Farms changed the rules where they said, look, you need a four-year degree to advance. 
Uh, now, Richard's story is pretty simple. He didn't do well in high school. He said, you know, it wasn't that I wasn't smart. I just didn't see the sense in, you know, memorizing something for a test and, and then only to forget it a day later, he says. So I didn't even bother. So he didn't slide by with the highest of grades and he really didn't like academia. But once he plugged into network marketing, that's where he found himself. And, you know, he's made a fortune in network marketing. He's owned a network marketing company. He's been a phenomenal distributor. Uh, and he's a great mentor. And I, I can tell you, he's a genuine soul. I've now known him for years. Uh, and he's the real deal. You know, he's heart-centered and he cares what's best for people and the profession. Uh, but here's the thing. It took him four years uh, before he made any money in network marketing at all. Four years. And so one of the questions that was asked of Richard was, you know, when, you know, we, we know nature is a good teacher. When do you kick the little, the little birds out of the nest? And here's what he said. You know what? I had a really long incubation period. So I tend to keep people nurtured and under my wing probably for too long. Um, and you know what? I, I can relate to that. I, I, somehow have this sense where I do in, enjoy nurturing people and uh, you know, I don't, I don't kick them out too early, uh, but do what's authentic for you. You know, if you think people ought to be having a, a mixer one week after, you know, and, and almost, you know, starting to present in front of a group one week after they sign up, well then maybe that's the right thing to do. I always want to find out what's best for them and we kind of agree on the path. Um, but I, I like his mindset. I like what he teaches. I like his story and I like him. And I also really enjoy uh, Eric Worre. So these are now the skill sets and the skills are finding prospects, which I believe is easier than ever before. Now with this attraction marketing, you know, Facebook, there are people that have made millions via Facebook, but there's a way to do it. So if you're going to be on Facebook, don't spam people. Don't come at them with a sales pitch make a connection just as if you were in person. Then there's inviting, there's presenting, there's the follow-up, there's closing, which I happen to think of as opening. There's getting people started right. And then there's promoting events. Those are the seven skills. So number one, uh, finding prospects. How about attracting prospects? Um, great student of Jim Rohn, you know, first read a book by him 30 years ago, saw him in person, got an autograph journal, listened to him time and time again. He has a phenomenal way of speaking. He's a great storyteller. He was also a great network marketing success. But here's what he said. Success is something that you attract by the, the person that you become. So he says, if you want to attract better people, become more attractive. Now, what does that mean? You know, can we change our physical appearance? Well, to a certain degree, we can. Can we be a little fitter? Sure. Can we be a little brighter? Can we get a good smile on our face? Can we use the BU? Uh, can we start working in personal development? Can we start to learn to make better eye contact? Can we be a better listener? Can we put out an energy that says, you know what? I've got something great for the world and I want to share it with people, but first I want to make a friend. Uh, there is where I think you will have great success uh, at attracting. I remember reading something about network marketing. It gave it two steps. Make friends, meet their friends. Well, that's kind of how it is, isn't it? You make a friend, you have a much better probability of getting them to at least listen to what you have to say. So part of Eric Worre's mastermind, they had a seven-figure earner that talks about prospecting in Uber. And he'll have a conversation with the Uber driver and, you know, he'll, he'll basically make a really good connection and he'll find out, okay, you know, is this a guy or a, a girl that I, that I want to talk to and who might be on the same page? He doesn't pitch him on the business. He says, you know, I bet you get a lot of people in this, uh, in this car that tell you a lot of problems. And, and they'll often say, yeah, I mean, it seems to be most of my job. I'm listening to people's challenges. He says, you know what? One of the things I really enjoy doing now in life, I'm independently wealthy, now he can say that, is helping people to get their best life. So next time someone tells you they have a problem, say, you know what, I met this guy, really sharp guy, independently wealthy, helps people get their dream life, here's his card, give him a call. Uh, and, and the guy's name is Tom Chenault, and, and I've seen him talk before, seems to be a real good guy. 
He says, look, he has Uber drivers literally sending him people all the time. He says, he'll take an Uber just to meet an Uber driver. Now, I want you to think about that. You could take an Uber from point A to B to C to D to E to F to G, right? Then you get in a car with someone and, and let's say you're having a good conversation. Well, extend the trip. Say, you know, I thought I wanted to go here, but I want to go here. Make a connection. Just imagine if you had two or three or five people sending people to you every single week, knowing that you have a solution to offer them. That could be really good. And I, I happen to really enjoy that idea. What's one idea worth? Well, the idea by itself, when acted on, can be worth a fortune. Not acted on, not so much. If that resonates with you, act on it. Number two, what about inviting? Well, Richard Bliss actually does, has a lot of different ways of inviting, right? One was make that connection, find out what's going in their life, uh, and, and say, that's one of the things I do. I, I, I help people to become financially free, you know? Um, or... You might just say, if you're brand new, listen, I just started working with a new business coach who has a great record helping people to become financially free. I'd love your feedback on what he's teaching me. You know, can I share a 20 minute video with you? Video with you? That's pretty much rejection free processing. If you've got a good connection, a good friend or someone, you know, that has your best interest in mind will likely invest that period of time. Now, what do you do after the 20 minute video? Hey, if you're new, how about a three way call? Uh, three-way calls can be really, really good. You can do them by a Facebook messenger now, a three-way messenger, although I do like getting on the phone with people. Why not have a conversation, you know? So remember, if you're setting up a three-way, you edify the person you're doing the three-way with, and guess what they're going to do? They're going to say, you know what? I just started working with John, one of the finest, brightest young stars I've seen. He has a great presence. He has a great heart. And together, we're going to help a lot of people. So tell me about you, you know, or, and start finding out how to make that three-way conversation go. Number three is presenting. Now, there's a book called Talk Like Ted. Happen to really like that book. Um, I sometimes have an assumption that everybody in the world has seen a TED Talk. If you haven't, it's time for you to see a TED Talk. Google TED Talk. And they have TED Talks that, that have hundreds of millions of views, maybe even billions of views. Pretty fascinating. But here's what they're going to tell you from the TED Talk. They have strategies where you want to make an emotional connection. Remember, decisions are basically emotional. Some people say, no, they're logical. Well, no, you just have a better emotion to the more logical choice under that circumstance. It should be novel, something new. People don't want to hear the same old story and then it wants to be memorable. Well, how do you make it memorable? Well, make a connection, get their emotions and tell stories. That is one of the commandments of Ted, thou shalt tell stories. Now, I've also heard that you should be more interested than you are interesting. Make a connection with the people in the audience, share with them, get some feedback, you know, solicit participation, that can be uh, a great way to enhance your presentations. So lots of statistics on follow-up. That's skill number four. It's been said the fortune is in the follow-up. So this was something I found published from a number of sources today. He said 44% of salespeople give up after one follow-up. I wonder how many don't even follow up that one time. That's interesting. But 80% of sales require five or more follow-ups. So ultimately, you want to keep the conversation going. And that's what Eric Worre says. He says, you know what? All business is a conversation. So you want to stay in rapport and you want to keep the conversation going. So as long as there's a conversation, there's potential for business. So you want to always honor people where they are. Uh, sometimes people little, need a little coaxing. You know, people need a coach. Sometimes they need a little push. But for the most part, you know, let the timing evolve so that it's just right for that person. And by the way, if the timing's never right for them, what's the probability then of them doing anything anyways, right? If you get someone into a bad time, I, I, I don't know that I'd want to do that, right? I want them to have a good experience with our business right from the start. So Eric Worre says skill number five is closing. Well, I like to call it opening because Bob 
Berg, who wrote the book, The Go-Giver, another classic. And, and I, I think I've read every book that he's written. One's called Adversaries to Allies. Uh, I think another one was called go Giver Sell More. Another one's It's Not About the Money, you know. Um, but he says you should open it up, not close it. And what's a simple opening after a presentation? So what do you think? Share your thoughts. You know, sometimes they're, what did you like most? And let the person start talking. So ultimately, they're going to tell you what they like, and then you start going from there. Now, Eric Worre, you know, if you're one-on-one, -on -one, that's easier than a group of, of uh, a number of people. But he might say, listen, on a scale of zero to 10, zero, no interest, you know, 10, ready to join right now, where are you at? You know, he says, as long as it's not a zero, well, you got some hope, right? And then he often says, okay, you're at a three. What would it take to get you to a four or five? And they might say, well, I'd like to try the product. Cool. After they try the product, you know, well, okay, what's your, what's your interest now? Well, actually, I went, you know, to a five. What would it take you to get to a seven? Well, I think I need to understand more about this. Get them more information. I might need to meet someone who's successful. Put them on a three-way call or whatever that means, right? But ultimately, you move them up the ranks to get them to where you want to be. So what about getting them started right? This is skill number uh, six. That's the game plan interview. So in Eric Worre's book, Go Pro, he has a chapter on the game plan interview. And I really like it. So I, I, I bet I did between 50, it sounds like 50 is the low end, somewhere near 50, between 50 and 100, even though 100 might be on the high end, game plan interviews with new people and I pulled out the audio version of Eric Worre's GoPro book, the chapter on the game plan interview, and I would play a snippet, and then I would pause, and we'd have a conversation. So you know, first thing it says, look, you made a really good decision here. This is gonna be great for you and your family. This industry is phenomenal. So many people have been successful. The company's doing awesome, right? You just validate their decision. Then you set expectations, and, and that's really, really important. You know, we've had people that, you know, thought that they were going to, you know, build a multi-million dollar business inside of a year, but realistically, they'd never had any level of financial success and no direct business success. So we want to be realistic without being deflating. And we might say, well, you know, John, listen, I love the goal <laughs> and I'm here to help you make it happen. But here's been my experience. You know, people that haven't done network marketing before have a longer growth curve. Um, people that have never been in business for themselves, they have a longer growth curve. Now you happen to have never been in network marketing and never had a business, so yours might be longer yet. I'm for you breaking all the records, but why don't we get a customer, right? Why, why, why don't we get a customer? Why don't we sell that gold pack? And let's talk about how we can reach out to people and, and get them a gold pack. Uh, then he says, there's going to be ups and downs. You know, there's no doubt about it. And he had a classic line. He says, look, I'll know when they're downs. You're not going to be on the calls. You're, you, you know, you're not going to be at meetings. He says, and at that point, do you just want me to let you slip away and, and fade away and, and basically die off in your business? Or do you want me to just, you know, reach out and bring you back in? Well, I promise you, every single person I asked that question to said, oh, no, bring me back in. Bring me back in, Right. And so if people start slipping away, I remind them of that. Remember we had that conversation? Listen, there's going to be ups and downs. I have them too, right? Uh, that's just the way it is. Now in time, you want your lows to be higher and you want your highs to be higher. So the ups and downs are always on an upward trend. But hey, there's, they're going to be there, right? So come on back in. Let's have a conversation. Let's see what we can do better. There's a getting started checklist right? And then whatever that is, right? Get your gold pack, sell it out, learn to go through the back office, understand a little bit about advancement, um, connect to events and trainings. Great thing to do, right? Conversations on success every week, every week, every week. Commit to it or, or at least the replay. Um, key points to the compensation plan. Ours is good, super good. Have an inviting strategy, super enough, right? Just connect with people. Hey, John, listen, you know, uh, I've got a new business. I want you to come over for the grand opening, seven o'clock. Uh, no pressure, no nothing. I just need your support. Will you be there? Right. And then talk about rank advancements. Uh, and then now, guess what? With those rank advancements, you get to that beautiful Sapphire rank. Now we start talking about going on a getaway. Skill seven, the power of live events. And I'll say it again and again and again. 
My mentors taught me, including Eric Worre, the pros build from event to event to event. You wanna have more of your team at every single event. These are all beautiful people on our team that literally launch their business uh, at events. The next major event, literally that I know of, besides the Canada events, if you have no people in Toronto or Montreal, get them to the event. We promise we'll take really good care of them uh, and share what we love about this business so much, but there is the GoPro recruiting mastery. And then finally, we're gonna get with an action plan. So Organo will have some holiday specials. Uh, we were talking them over, they haven't been finalized yet, but they are going to work on specials that are going to be just that, they're gonna be special. So you're gonna get special pricing, special gifts, special rewards, uh, and special perks. So you're gonna to wanna to listen and pay attention and utilize those and have your team utilize them as well. Uh, what do we do every day? We like to be a walking billboard for Organo. So we're gonna use all the products, we're gonna use the skincare, we're gonna take advantage of the travel, uh, and we're gonna at least be able to answer a question and connect people to answers. When we connect with people, I always like to say that we want to earn the right to make a recommendation. Well, how do you earn it? You invest time, you invest focus, you invest attention, uh, you invest into learning about that person and learning how this can make their world better. Um, now we want to share the new paradigm, the new ecosystem where literally everybody wins. This is a brand new model. This is purposely unordinary. This is gonna change the entire industry because everybody from our suppliers to our distribution partners, or I guess we wanna call them supply partners, distribution partners, customer partners, everybody's gonna win at the biggest way. And by the way, Amazon, you know, uh, Jeff Bezos, the richest guy in the world right now, how did Amazon you know, become so powerful? Well, they made sure that people had a phenomenal customer experience. We wanna do that too. It's our business, we are responsible for our customer's experience. And then every single day we wanna promote the event. Now, conversations with success is an event, that's a fairly easy one. Your weekly meetings or something in your region should be uh, a, um, uh, an event. A bigger event probably every month, a bigger event yet every quarter. And we really like to plug people into personal, developing, uh, personal development events. And we wanna do this every single day. Uh, I wanna share with you the secret formula for Richard Bliss Brook and ultimately likes to tell people the work is worth it. Here's what he says. His formula is one, two, three, two plus two, 700, 10,000, 2 million, and then 2857. So here's how the formula breaks down. One, he says you wanna to talk to one person every single day. With that person, just quite simply get an answer from them. Listen, you know, I, I, I now have, you know, started working with a business coach. He's helping me to become financially free within the next five years. Would that be worth 20 minutes of your time to see what he's teaching me or she's teaching me? Just that simple, ask one person a day. He says, if you ask one person a day, two people a week will actually take you up on that. Two people a week will look at the opportunity. Now, I'll do the math on that later. That means 100 people over the course of a year are actually going to look at the opportunity. Now, he says, if two people a week look at the opportunity, three people a month will actually make some type of decision that moves your business forward. They may become a customer or they may become a distributor. I'll share a little math on that a little bit later, but three people a month. Now, he says, if you do that for two years and you get two weeks vacation, you will have talked to 700 people over the course of those two years. He says in the next two years, that's where the two plus two comes in, just re-go through all 700. Something will have changed in those people's lives. Now he says we don't make income claims and we certainly won't, but he says a lot of people after four years of that level of consistency will be earning about $10,000 a month. Now, again, we won't make claims, but let's just say I know a bunch of people on our team that did that faster than that, okay? Now, what uh, the economists will tell you is you're earning $10,000 a month, 
that would be the equivalent of having about $2 million in the bank. $2 million in the bank to earn $10,000 a month. So what's easier? Talking to one person a day, every day, 350 days a year for four straight years or getting $2 million in the bank? Well, I'll tell you what, I think it's talking to one person a day. And then if you talk to 700 people and you have an asset that's worth about $2 million, that means every single invitation, yes or no, was worth $2,857. The work is worth it. Now, by the way, if you get 100 people that look at your opportunity a year, here's what Richard says, really only five of those people are likely to do something. That's five out of 100. Now remember, three a month we're joining, so that's five out of 36 people that made a business decision are actually gonna do something. And that's the miracle of compounding, because once you teach those five to do what you did, the next year they bring in 25 more. Wave three, 125 more. Wave four, 625 more. Wave five, 300,125 more. By the time you have 3,900 people on your team, if they are just drinking two cups of coffee a day, you are gonna be a rock solid emerald. You're gonna be on the all expenses paid OG getaway, and you're gonna be making some decent money, right? We're not gonna make any income claims, but let's just say that's gonna be really decent money. And that's just at two cups of coffee a day. So it's been a beautiful conversation. I always enjoy it. What's new? We've got new products. We've got the new getaways announced. We've got a new consultant, Eric Worre, who I think is the best skills trainer in the industry. And our future is looking very, very bright. What's the mindset? You want to remember that your brain may be the most powerful thing you own, that in your heart as well. Connect the two of them. Put a vibration out there that says, I want to do good for the world. I want to add value to everybody I meet. I want to make friends. I want to meet their friends. Get the skills to do that more effectively than ever. The action plan, daily actions are going to do it. As my great mentor and friend and business partner, Sachin Patel says, consistency carves canyons. Have that daily action, plug in, make it work, and this opportunity is better than ever. So as I like to close, I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, absolutely knowing that we can all be happy, healthy, and successful. So good night and God bless.